Our diplomatic correspondent Sidan Sibyl spoke with Denmark's Foreign Minister Lars Lok Rasmussen on the sidelines of the G20 summit. Praising India, he said that he sees India as a perfect bridge builder between the North and the South. Commenting on the extradition of Kim Devi to India, the prime accused in the Purulia arms drop case. He said that proper authorities are looking into the matter. With me is the Foreign Minister of Denmark. Uh, sir, welcome uh, to Vyond. My first question to you is, how do you see the relationship between India and Denmark? Uh, they have grown a lot, but there are also issues, especially when it comes to extradition of Kim Devi. I see our relations as very good, moving towards uh, excellent, I would say. Uh, and of course, there have been issues, but we have solved that. I mean, when I was here in uh, back in 19, as uh, Prime Minister, now I'm the Minister of Foreign Affairs, I agreed with the Honourable Prime Minister Modi uh, that uh, the issue you just, just mentioned shouldn't be something um, we, which we should look as uh, as an obstacle for further uh, uh, cooperation. So we decided to leave it with the proper authorities. They are dealing with that. And in the meanwhile, we have improved our relationship. And the fact that we now are in India with our uh, Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Denmark and a huge business delegation is a living proof of that. Congratulating India on assuming G20 presidency, Denmark's FM said he hoped India can help Global South achieve its goals. I want to congratulate India with the G20 uh, presidency. Uh, I think you can't overestimate the importance of that. Um, I look at India as a kind of a bridge builder uh, between, for instance, Europe, US and the Global South. Um, and that goes both ways. I mean, I just had an in-depth discussion with your Minister of Foreign Affairs about, for instance, some of the world's financial uh, uh, instruments, IMF, the World Bank, etc. How could we modernize that in order to uh, assist uh, the Global South in uh, achieving uh, the goals we have uh, defined at a global uh, level. Uh, and I think uh, India uh, is much better to interpret uh, the needs of, of some of the poorest countries that we are. And then on the other hand, India are undergoing a, a, a development where you have brought, you know, hundreds of millions of people out of poverty, you have a growing middle class, uh, you have uh, excellent industry, you are sharp in uh, research and development, uh, so I mean, uh, you are pretty much as, as we are. So I think India is a, in a perfect situation to, to combine voices from the north and voices from the south.